Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be a color and chat. Um, I know I had asked about that and everybody was really interested in seeing it and then I kind of haven't been around. Um, so I apologize for that. Um, but a lot of that was due to not being kidless. Um, yeah, uh, the holiday break and then my my one son was home um, since last, not this past Friday, but the Friday before. Yeah, he's been home since then. Um, my middle one, um, he got in trouble at school, so he got suspended. Um, and He's eight. Um, oh, in the book, I'm doing a mandala. Um, this is my new mandala book. I'm not gonna actually show the cover um, because um, I haven't showed it in my haul video. Yes, I have another haul video for this month. I'm still waiting on packages, but I almost feel like filming it um, just to get it out of the way. Um, and then whatever I have left coming just included in December at this point because I'm just sick of waiting. Um, because I still haven't gotten stuff from my last haul video that I said I was still waiting on getting. And sorry about my voice. A little hoarse. Um, today. But, um, I'm using the Tana Mint glitter gel pens on this. As you can tell by all the glitter. And... I think this is gonna become my new favorite book. This will be like my color books. I will definitely complete this one. Sorry, I'm gonna shift around on you here. I'm so happy and there's a bunch of these books, so I think I'm gonna have to acquire them. But this one was $28, so I'm like, hi. Um, but definitely worth it. The paper is amazing. Um, but anyways, my son, he's only eight. And he has autism. Now, he's high-functioning autism. So, I'm grateful for that. He's verbal, you know, and he... he his problems are sensory-based and, and his balance. Um, so outwardly, you know, he looks okay and everything, but, but he's not. Um, if he were to look up at this guy and not tell himself to not fall over, he will fall over. So if he puts his head backwards, he just falls backwards. Um, so... As you can tell, probably that's an issue with like playground and things like that. Um, and he's really come a long way with um, therapy. They work with the sensory issues. Um, his others is touching certain things um, and eating certain things. So, as well as completely using the bathroom um he's not completely potty trained um i know ridiculous at eight years old but you know i've really been really really working really hard on it. i just don't i'm having a hard time putting a punishment with it but i'm wondering if that might work but i'm i'm, I'm just kind of at my wits end with that because i know he knows what to do he's smart he knows what to do um but he got, he got kicked out of school um, for that day, and then it was a weekend, and then they had a day and a half until they went on holiday break, and then they were off until, they're off till tomorrow, Tuesday. So they ended up having like a sixth day, well, I guess, yeah. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, they had six days off. 
Um, hence why I haven't done a video because they get to be loud and and I apologize for their, my vacuum is running right now. My cheapo ion vacuum that helps me keep the house clean. Um, it was been stuck under the couch for several days, so I'm letting it run. Usually I would turn it off before filming, but I have the door pulled around, but the cat just pushed it open, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so my son goes back to school tomorrow, and the, teacher, uh, the assistant principal is going to be calling me to set up a meeting for me to go in there on Wednesday. And I have to meet with, you know, multiple people. And it's just me against them. And, you know, and it's like, yes, I agree with you. My son did wrong. Now, however, here's where I got really upset. So, my son drew the teacher dead on a sword. Um, he's very, very upset with her because he doesn't know the material and he can't get it. Um, he's in second grade in normal education with autism. Last year he was cyber with me. He didn't do any writing. It was all on a computer. So that's all suffered. And, you know, I worked full time. I had to pick my battles. I did what I could with them. And I feel like a terrible mom now. But, you know, I don't, I've already asked him a few times, like, maybe we should put him back in first grade. And, you know, he's not much difference in size from the first graders so I feel like it will be okay and I don't know I just and my other son who's seven this school has already kicked him out now he does have behavior issues with and I know he's going to be ADHD like my oldest son because I went through this with my older son however they moved him to a new school um that specializes more in the behavior side of it and he's in a classroom with seven kids so it's very very focused on him and his needs and he's doing wonderful I feel like as soon as I get one of them going then the other one suffers and then and then I have the teenager of course and at least I can just get on him um, he passed his first trimester this high school does trimesters, so he's not used to that. He's used to going to a school where he can take all year to make up and just slack off. Um, and this one isn't that way. He has 66 days, and he has to work his butt off just to get the grades he gets because he just struggles so much. Um, but he got, I think, two Ds, two Cs, and a B. So he passed. So we're happy for that. And, and he doesn't plan to go to college. He's gonna, he says he wants to be a demolition man. And I really didn't think about it because it's been so long. But my sister said when they were here the other weekend, does that, you know, like, do you not realize? And I was like, what? And she's like, well, that's what our dad did. Um, our dad died when I was 10 and my sister was 8 in a work accident. And that's what he did, demolition for a construction company. And that's what my son wants to do. So, that's nice. And, um, sorry. This high school has a contract with a um, construction company, a really good construction company. And basically, in their senior year, they can work half a day and go to school half a day. Um, so I'm really hoping he can keep his grades this way because I think he can get into that program. If he can keep it, you know, pretty steady. We'll see um, here. I got to talk to the guidance counselor to make sure he's like on the right path. 
because he's just not he's not into the books and stuff and if I can get him out of that construction company in high school I mean he can just start working for them out of high school and I have to go to a trade school and he can learn right from them the way they want him taught so it's a really really great opportunity um, so you know I feel like I'm getting him on track and then the seven years year old's getting on track with the new school. So now it's just getting my eight year old. But I'm struggling. I just, I do not want to go into this meeting. I'm having so much anxiety over it. Because it just feels like you're against the world. You know, and you have to advocate for your, your job. And it's just not fair. You know, he's already behind. And then they suspend him. You know. I just. I just don't think. It was the right solution. Like put him in some kind of room. By himself. Like a detention or something. Um, and he's really smart. I just. I just think he's defeated. He's just so defeated. And maybe put him in first grade, he'll... You know, the two boys are like twins anyways. And Luke's in first grade. So, they share a bedroom. They're 15 months apart. Um, so, they're more like twins than anything. So, I think it would be best. And I mean, they're in separate schools. I, I would worry a bit if... You know, they say, oh, well, we want to send him over to that school. Because I think them being in the same room, which he would be if it's a specialized program, whatever. You know, would not be good for them. Because they're around each other 24-7 at home. And then they fight really bad. So, and Colton just needs a break from the hyperness of, of Luke. And I get it because my nephew was like that with my my oldest. Sorry guys, I gotta blow my nose. Oh my, probably not a good day to do a coloring chat, but. Oh. And of course I was on call this week, day and night. And, um, for my job. And, you know, I, I appreciate them, you know, wanting me to continue working for them remotely and giving me that opportunity. However, this week was holiday week and I was on call 24-7 the entire week. Um, I didn't have any plans to go anywhere, so I was home. So not a big deal, but I have to tote my phone around with me all the time. And... Usually it's not busy, but of course it's holiday week. So of course it would be busy. Now, normally if I had been working for them, working full time in the office, I would be off on Thanksgiving. I'd be sitting at home, still answering the phones, but I'd be paid $8 an hour. Me remotely answering the phones, I'm not paid that much per hour. <laughs> oh my. So I sat and figured out how much it comes, really boils down to. I am paid my hourly rate. But basically how I, I'm paid is I'm on call through the daytime all the time. Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, the phones are turned to me to answer like a normal business. And then every other week, I have the phones all night and the weekend. And then the other week, the funeral director does those evenings and weekend. And that's the times I have off. So I sat down and figured out the amount of hours. Now I get paid 15 hours at my regular rate for the two week period. But technically I'm on call like 230 some hours. It's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Um, so when it boils down to it, I'm like making a dollar something an hour. Which is not bad because I don't have to work all the time, only when the calls come in. But then when the calls come in, like this time, 
you know, I had to get up at like 5 a.m. the one morning, which is not too bad. I'm usually an early person, but I had to get up and wait on calls, and then I tried to lay back down, and then the phone rang again, and it was just ridiculous, um, but, um, you know, there's, in our, in our state, there's, there's laws about cremation and who can authorize a cremation to happen. And people just don't understand that. Um, and they think, oh, I can just do it. Well, they, no, you can't because there's a law. So if the person who legally has the right to authorize it, and sorry, I wasn't on camera, and they, you know, don't authorize it, and we go ahead and cremate them, they have a legal right to sue us. So, I mean, you don't really want to think it of people, but, I mean, people could just set that up as a scheme, you know? And it would ruin family businesses, because that's mainly what funeral homes are, a family-run business. In this case, that's, you know, I, I work f for an owner. I mean, it, he doesn't have the means to be getting sued. Um, so I have to explain that. And, you know, I understand people are going through a hard time, but I have to protect, protect the law and, and the person who's passed away's rights. I mean, maybe they didn't want their, but the way, basically the way it goes in our state, it's different per state in the U.S., each state's different, so that's an added, you know, thing. Um, but it has to be your spouse. You know, if you didn't have a spouse or you're divorced or widowed, then it falls to your children. If you didn't have children, it would fall to your parents. If your parents are gone, then it falls to your siblings. And if you have 10 siblings, they all have to agree. One sibling can disagree and say, I don't want them cremated. Because here's the thing, cremation's final. But you can bury anybody. You don't have to be a certain person to authorize to bury. But people don't have the money to pay for burials. Burials cost, you know, at a nice place, you know, 10 to 20 grand for everything, you know, you would need start to finish. Um, and people just don't have that. So they go to cremation. Now, you can do a, a burial for cheaper. You know, you go to a, a church cemetery or um, a smaller cemetery, you're going to get a cheaper price. When I worked at one, I worked at one of the best in the county. So, of course, they were the 10, 10 to 15,000. Um, anyways, so... Point being, uh, I didn't, you know, didn't make a lot for what, what the calls are. Now, if I can talk the family into doing everything electronically and not come into the office, then that's how we handle it. Um, and, and then I get paid an extra five hours for that, for helping getting the paperwork all in order and over and you know, work with the funeral directors and scheduling and organizing all that, then I get paid extra five hours. If I go into the office, obviously I get paid for my travel time and, um, which my travel time ends up being three hours, <laughs> which is, yeah, a little bit much to go into the office, but I try to schedule as much as I can in that day that I go in so um so yeah that we'll see um they give out well, um Christmas bonus so hopefully that'll make up the difference and yeah So, yeah, it's just been a mess of things. It 
And if you're thinking about using gel pens, um, I'll just make a suggestion. Um, I've heard people talk about streakiness. If a pen is flowing properly and you're using it properly, you won't get streaks. So if you notice, I don't know if I go in circles, no lines. I mean, you can do a line every now and again, but essentially that's how you keep it from getting streaky is you just do circles. Obviously smaller areas are easier, bigger areas get harder um, to keep it from streaking, kind of like in here. But if you just keep telling yourself, go in circles, go in circles. then usually you don't get the streakiness. Sorry for all my ranting and crappiness beforehand here because I probably shouldn't even post this. <laughs> Maybe I won't. I've just been sick with anxiety lately. I just. And I don't take medication, I can't. It just makes me jittery and more worked up. And I just ugh, I've had such bad experience with it and I don't want to try it. People are like, just, you gotta give it two weeks. I'm like, I can't. I can't get through the two weeks. And that doesn't seem normal, so. I don't know. I finally got my medical card, so we'll see if I can find something with that to more natural based. Uh, let's see if that helps me. So I'm gonna probably end this video here shortly and I gotta film my swatching and reviewing of my products for my last haul. I gotta record that. I've been, yeah, because it hasn't been. So hopefully can get that done and, and post it here shortly. So thanks for watching guys. Take care.